Hello everyone, I'm Major Jip, and I'm back. And not only that, I have this hard drive that's been buried for a year. Uh, yep, I did get some footage of unburying this. Unfortunately, I ended up catching it with the shovel in this area here, so I don't know for sure if it was under vacuum the whole time or not. I would assume it was, because this whole label here isn't in bad shape, well, except for that area is bubbling up. Might have gotten a little water in it. Uh, but let's, let's see what this looks like inside. This thing has been underground for a whole year. Um, as you saw when I initially put it in, in the ground, I did two layers of vacuum sealing. The outer vacuum seal has been removed, and I haven't opened this yet. I am hoping it stayed sealed, because there might be bugs in this, and that wouldn't be good. So... <laughs> Let's see. Oh, what's it gonna look like? Hmm. Looks pretty good. Is the hard drive itself still under a vacuum? Yeah. Hard drive is still under a vacuum. Cool. Uh, you know, I immediately went from being very pessimistic about this to thinking it might be okay. If you look, you see there is some stuff that might be corrosion that is formed. I don't believe that was on there originally. But, without any further ado, let's open it. Uh, let me put a small hole and let it slowly... Yep, it was definitely still under a vacuum. Oh! Ooh. Yeah. It did corrode. It did corrode. That, that is not looking good. I wonder, I guess there's... Yeah, that's... That's not good. <laughs> okay. Optimism gone. Oh, wow. Seriously. I don't know if it was making that noise before. Okay. Well. Let's get the hard drive dock and see if it still powers on. Okay, so I got my little docking station here for the hard drive. It's already attached to the computer. Got some power going into it. Let's see if this hard drive still works, even with all of its corrosion. Let's just pop it in, and I'm going to hit the power button. Windows has detected it. That doesn't sound too good. But, it does appear to be working. Okay, I'm going to uh, switch to a screen recorder, and we will uh, try and transfer some files off of it. Okay, it is time to offload all of the files from the hard drive into a file on my computer, and see if it survives. So we're going to copy these, we're going to paste them here, and it's going about 53 megabytes per second. Um, now, considering this is on a USB 3 bus, and it's loading the files onto an NVMe SSD, I would take the hard drive as the limiting factor. And considering it wasn't exactly great to begin with, and it's also been underground for over a year, it probably is. But, it's copying. I guess I'll come back when it either finishes or gives up. Good news, it was able to copy all of the files off of it, and it didn't die. Uh, so as you can see, this is the folder it went into, and it's 37 gigs. And you look at this, 37 gigs. And you can actually just kind of go through, like ISOs are all coming up proper. So, it seems to have worked, which is good. The only other couple of things I could think to do 
are to test the speed and see what the smart data says. So smart data, we're going to use crystal disk info in order to pull up the information to see if there's any failures noted. And the health status is good. That kind of surprises me with all the noises it was making. Uh, it's 111 degrees, which is a little high for being out in open air, but no matter. It could have always been like that. Health status, good. That's surprising. I really expected it to have some bad sectors. The only other thing I could think to do is load up Crystal Disk Mark and run a speed test. Now, this is going to be slow. It's going to take forever because this is a traditional mechanical hard drive, and I don't think it's the best of shape either. So, we'll just run this, and I'll come back. Okay, I just finished running Crystal Disk Mark, and these are the results, which are pretty horrible, but it's also a standard mechanical hard drive, and not a very good one at that. So, it didn't die. It's not in good shape, but it didn't die. So, make of that what you will. I'm, I'm kind of curious what could be done to prevent this issue of... I suppose it'd be condensation formed inside. Maybe a couple of silica gel packets? There's definitely something to be tried to prevent it from getting corrosion in it. But, in any case, this is the end of this part of saving a hard drive underground. Thanks for watching. Major Chip signing out.